no one should buy a home. Interesting. Which is the opposite of the American Homes dream. were not built for people. Homes were built for banks. The bank created that product to sell money. You can't just loan people money. You need a product in between. Like when people start really understanding what I'm telling them, they're like, wait, what did he just say? The bank can't lend money for just money. Like you need a reason to borrow money. Oh, you're starting a business. That's a reason, but it's really risky for the bank. What if a bunch of bankers sitting around drinking bourbon? Do we, we need to lend more money. We gotta lend money out, man. That's how we make money. We get people to give us a dollar. We lend it out nine times. I read that book when I was a kid, man, when I was 16 years old. So. We lend it out nine times. We need something to lend the money on. So back in the 50s, they're like, everybody should have a home. They grinned. Everybody should have a home, right? Oh man, that's pretty good. We should call it something like the American dream. Can't just call it a house, right? Everyone should have one, right? They got the politicians behind it. Yes, everyone should have one. And then what they did was basically those homes were built for banks because who made all the money on the homes? Wasn't even the builder. Certainly wasn't the homeowner. It was always the banks. Hmm. Hmm. Colleges was another scheme by the bank. Okay. Everyone should have a proper education, but they don't have the money for it, but they should have it. And it, it, as they offered debt, if they, as they offered free loans to college students and families, those tuitions went up. Right. So we've been sold a big old fat lie. Totally, totally. And what do people say when you tell them that? You're crushing everything they've been told their whole life. They're like, no, Grant, that's not true. I want to own my own Most home. Most people are going to write me after this interview and say, can you explain that again? <laughs> shouldn't I own my own home? No, you should never own one door. Why is that a mistake? Because it's dead money. I mean, it's, it, 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 it can't, a house can't make you money. A house does not make you money. The only reason people think a house makes them money is they're comparing it to if I rent, that costs me money. But, you know, if you, if you want to go to a hospital, if you need to go to a hospital, you don't buy the hospital. You rent a bed to get out of there as fast as you can. If you go on a trip, you go to America and you want to go to Disneyland, you don't buy the hotel. You rent a room. And nobody thinks bad, poorly of that. They're like, yeah, I'm going to go there, use the place and get out. That's what you should be doing with your living. Find a place where you can rent. Rent, rent, pay rent monthly. Don't own the house. And take all the money that you would have put in that house purchase, down payment, extra money, fixing it up. Use all that money to improve your business and yourself so that you can get more money.